camera rolling. Okay. <clears throat> I want to do something a little bit different today. I don't have a script or a plan, but I do have a project in mind. I've recently been trying to set up some HomeKit automation for my studio here. I've got a couple of these smart plugs, which I can wire up to HomeKit, and I've got that for the media system at the back here. I want to set up my studio lights. I've got a couple of LED strips and other lights in here, but they are Elgato lights, and they kind of have their own control system. So I've done some research, and I've discovered this thing called HomeBridge, which is basically a server you can run yourself, and then you can find or build your own plugins to create HomeKit support for devices that don't yet support HomeKit. So I want to go ahead and install HomeBridge and set this up for my Elgato key light right up here. So I already have my Raspberry Pi set up. As you can see right here, I am uh, on the Raspberry Pi SSH into it sitting over there. So let's follow these instructions. Our prerequisites are Raspberry Pi running Raspberry Pi OS. We've got that and we can SSH into it. So we're good. So let's see, we want to add the HomeBridge repository GPG key first. So let's go ahead and run that and then add the Homebridge repository to the system sources. Let's do a sudo apt-get update. Cool. And now that that's done, we will do sudo apt-get install Homebridge. While that happens, let's see what our next step is going to be. So log into the web interface by going to IP address of your server 8581. Cool. So as part of the install output here, we can actually see exactly what the URL is. So let me go and copy that. And of course, this is my local IP address. And let's go ahead and hit this. Okay, so welcome to Homebridge. Let's get started. I'm going to create a username and password here. Let's go ahead and create that account. And now we can open the dashboard. Now I can scan this code with the camera on my iOS device to add it to Apple Home. If we open the camera and then I go ahead and scan this and click open in home. All right, so we've got this bridge. Let's say add to home, uh, my home, add anyway, and I'll add it to office, which is the one room that I have set up. And I think I'll just fix the name, oops, so that we just call this home bridge. Continue and done. All right, so now let's see, I don't see anything new in the office room here. So if we look at plugins here, now I know the plugin that I want to install. It's called Homebridge HTTP Lightbulb. Now there are Elgato specific plugins, but I kind of like the idea of this plugin, which is a more general purpose plugin that works for any lights that have HTTP support, which the Elgato lights do. I found this via this Reddit post where someone was asking about how to use Elgato key lights in Homebridge and someone shared a configuration here for Elgato key lights. So, I want to give this a try. Plugin, we can search for plugin to install. So let's search for HTTP light bulb. So this I think is the one that we want. Let's go ahead and install it. Cool. And it looks like this is just running an NPM install in the Homebridge directory on the Raspberry Pi. So that's great. Cool. So please consult the plugin documentation for instructions on how to configure. And we've got an HTTP light bulb here. Neat. I'm going to go ahead and copy this configuration right here. And I know this will not be perfect, but let's use this as a starting point. So if I paste this in, We've got accessory, HTTP light bulb, Elgato key light air. Mine is actually just a key light, not a key light air. And then we have this IP address and we need to figure out what the correct IP address for my light is. But we can see we've got this on URL, URL put body off URL. We give it a URL, a method and a body. Very cool. Okay, so let's find the IP address. And if you take a look here at the Elgato Control Center app that I have on my phone, you can see south wall is the light that I want. So if I hit this little I here, we can see the settings for this accessory. And right down at the bottom, we have the IP address, which is on 192.168.0.239. So I'm going to add that in here, 192.168.0.239. And the port, I believe, is always going to be the same, 9123. I'm going to go ahead and copy that IP address, and I'm going to paste it in each of the spots where we have it. Cool. And I want to call this south light because that is the direction that it is in my house. That should work. So let's go ahead and save and close that. Restart Homebridge to apply the changes. I guess if I click that, so we've got this restart button up here in the corner. Let's go ahead and restart this. Cool. So this looks good. All right, we've got our plugins. If we look at accessories here, we can see that we have one south light. If I open this up, let's see. On is zero, brightness is 20, color temperature is 143. So it looks like it's probably reading these off the light. So if we go back to the homepage of the control center here, you can see I keep the brightness pretty low. I wonder if I crank that brightness all the way up to 100% 
And if I like refresh this page, yeah, you can see that's now up at 100%. And if I drag that back down to say 37%, and refresh this page, cool, now it says 37. So this is really cool. Now I've got Homebridge successfully looking at the value of this light. How can we go ahead and actually use this now? So if I click on this, it doesn't like turn on, oh, it does actually, there we go, it just turned on. I don't think you'll be able to see that, but when I'm clicking this, it's turning on and turning off. The other thing we should check though is, does this light appear in my home app? So if we head over to the home app, hey, look at that, now I have South Light in the home app and I can tap this. Now, is there a way for me to, oh, look at that. I can change the brightness percentage. I don't think you'll be able to tell because the sunlight coming in is pretty bright. But then we also have like this, temperature warmth. Let me turn the light to face directly at me and it might burn out my face, but I think at least you'll be able to see what's going on. Turn that down and yeah, as you can see, I'm now really getting blown out here. But on the app, if I bring that down, yep, bring that all the way back up. Hopefully you can see that happening. Let's go from a kind of cold light and let's try doing something quite warm instead. I don't know if that shows up on camera, but I can tell you looking at the light, we're going warm, cold, warm, cold, and now off, on, off. Wow, there we go. So that is pretty straightforward. Now I'm really fortunate in that the Elgato key lights are really easy to use with HTTP and I didn't really have to write any custom code. I was able to find a configuration that I could just import into Homebridge and get that working correctly. So that's pretty cool. But I think it's going to be fun to continue to add my other Elgato lights and maybe future accessories. So this was a little bit different than the videos I usually do, but I'm a big fan of automation, not just with my code, but also as much as possible with my environment. I've got some more videos on developer workflow automation coming up soon. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, uh, subscribe if you want to see more, and thanks for watching.